clicked on this video because you're tired of being the bigger person you're tired of always having to be the one to do the christian thing to use your church mind bite your tongue and not say what's really in your heart i know i know <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Susan and today I'm going to be talking about what you should do when you're tired of being the bigger person. Now, it's very hard to be the bigger person when care is not reciprocated, when vulnerability is not reciprocated, when someone hurts you consistently or treats you poorly consistently, when you always have to be the emotionally intelligent person or you always have to be the one resolving an issue that you have with your friends or family and things like that now that is why i'm going to be talking on this on this video because i know this is something that is pretty popular especially for you if you're a christian you know always having to look the other way always having to turn the other cheek when they slap you whether literally or figuratively, you know, and what to do when you're faced in such situation. Yes, you're a Christian and you know the Bible says do not repay evil for evil, love your enemies, love those that despitefully use you. You know all those things, but you just want your own five minutes of pettiness, your own sprinkle of, you know, being childish every once in a while. The reality is that there's a lot of things that's different. There's a lot of differences between how the world sees love, how the world sees wisdom, and how the Bible represents love and wisdom. Currently, we're in a world today where if someone hurts you, someone offends you, you hear things like, when they show you who you are, believe them. And you know, meaning, don't give people a second chance to hurt you. You know, just keep it moving. Once they hurt you the first time, learn your lesson and move forward. You know, and this, Wish there's some wisdom in that sometimes but not all the time there's some times where you need to be patient with people there's some times where you need to learn to tolerate people give people the benefit of the doubt in addition to this to show that even christians sometimes make excuses for an unbiblical behavior or a, a behavior that is not you know right um, I recall seeing a post last year on social media about forgiveness and how the Christians are called to forgiveness and not advanced forgiveness. First of all, I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is advanced forgiveness? Because clearly in scriptures, what the, what Jesus did for us by dying on the cross before we even dreamt about committing sin, before we even thought of stealing pencil in the class was advanced forgiveness. So I'm like, if Jesus is our model, Jesus is our pattern, and Jesus exhibited um, forgiveness in advance, why would we as believers not think that that is the kind of forgiveness that we are called to, such that we forgive people in advance? And I know, I know that this is hard, I know that this is easier to say than to act in real life, but it's also important to know that the world's definition of some certain things is not exactly biblical, and we must always remind ourselves the kind of lives that we're called to okay now before i digress too much i'm going to talk about the main reason for this video which is what do you do when you're tired of being the bigger person now there are three things i need i think you need to consider when you're in this state okay and now the first one is that you need to recognize that it is possible it is possible to be the bigger person to treat people with love when they don't treat you with love it is possible to always call people always check on people even if, even though they are not always reciprocating it is possible to be the person that shows love you know even if it is not reciprocated in the measure at which you are given it is possible and the reason i say this is because except you want to deny that the spirit that you received is not the spirit of God. What the Bible tells us is proof that you have the spirit of God or the fruits that come along with the spirit of God is love, is joy, is peace, is self-control, is patience, is kindness, is all of the things that we see in Galatians 5.22. Okay, so if the Bible has clearly shown that anybody with the spirit of God will demonstrate all of this, then you should know that it is possible and the reason i'm not i'm saying that it's possible is not for you to it's not to like ginger you yeah a part of me is you know trying to ginger you to know that it's possible but it's also to ensure that you keep it always at the back of your mind that even at times when your entire being your entire body makes you feel like it is not possible for me to forgive what this person has done at this time or it is impossible like it is literally 
technically humanly impossible for you to be able to do some certain things it is possible because i mean technically it's not by your human power right because the spirit of god dwells in you it is possible what would jesus do let's be able to do what jesus would do in that kind of situation now the second thing is the power of choice and we all have the power of choice we all have the power to make our own decisions and the reason why this is very very closely tied to the first first point is because much more than knowing that it is possible is the ability to be able to make a decision based on what based on what you know okay now i know it's possible for me to be able to do these things and i'm not feeling in the mood okay so what do i do now the power of choice is you making a decision based on the things the information that you have okay i know that it's possible based on the fact that i'm a christian i'm a believer i'm spirit filled and the fruit of spirit is this this that versus this is what my 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 hand is itching to slap somebody right now so which one do i really choose like th these are the issues these are really the issues which one do i choose okay now the power of choice is very important because the power of choice impacts our growth it impacts our lives as a whole i'm going to read something to you in romans 6 16 and i think that it is it's like really really important because when you realize how far like how much impact the power of your choice you know has on your life then it will probably help you to put things in better perspective do you not know that when you continually offer yourselves to someone to do his will you are the slaves of the one whom you will be either slaves of sin which leads to death or of obedience which leads to righteousness now this simply means that if you consistently decide to st do what God will have you to do in a particular situation, if you consistently decide that even though this person hurt me, I am going to treat this person with love, okay, then that is what your mind will get used to because by doing that, you are renewing your mind to so think how God would think, to behave how God would behave. It's, I mean, people use the whole gym cliche example, which is that the more you build your muscles in the gym, the more you see results. And if you go to the gym and you're taking selfies, you will see the results. Let's not deceive ourselves. It might sound like a cliche, but it's the truth. That's literally what this scripture is saying. The Bible says that we should walk in the spirit that we do not, so that we don't fulfill the loss of the flesh. Okay? so. Even though you're spirit filled, the way to train yourself to always do the things that Jesus has set as, ex as an example for us, the way to train yourself to do those things is to do them. Okay, is to listen to God when God speaks to you, when God tells you, because in everybody's heart and everybody's spirit, the reason why you're faced with the decision to choose between doing what God would do and what your natural self would want to do is because God is speaking to you. Okay, so it's now up to you to decide, <laughs> God. Today I'm not going to listen. I won't, this this thing that this thing that my mind wants to do, that's what I do today. Okay, it's, it's up to you to decide that or to decide to listen to what God God tells you to do, and it would also determine how much you grow as well. So keeping things in perspective to know that your decisions actually impact your growth is very very important. Now, if you're watching this video and you're enjoying this video, please do well to like this video and subscribe as well now the third um pretty 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 important um point i want to raise which i don't know if it's the most important but i'll leave it up to you to decide is triggers and a lot of us actually have a lot of triggers but we've not really sat down to reflect on it now the reason why i mention triggers is that there are so many situations where you're faced with being the bigger person and the reason why you're faced with being the bigger person is because you're offended by a particular action or you don't like what somebody has done to you now a lot of times the reason you're offended is not necessarily because the person has done something wrong but because you're being triggered by something it could be an experience from the past it could be an issue that you had to deal with it could be somebody and how they treated you poorly it could be a toxic relationship that you've been through you know it could be anything okay and that's what now comes up as a trigger for example you were in a relationship with this guy but he didn't treat you right right you had a lot of issues you guys eventually broke up but maybe there was something that used to happen that you recall maybe you guys always went to the movies but after the movies you would always have a fight like a huge fight right now 
if you're in a different relationship there's a possibility that you would tend to be on edge in this new relationship whenever you guys go to the movies because you've always been in a situation where there was always a fight when you went to the movies with this old guy so with this new guy maybe if the guy cracks one joke you start to evaluate was, was that really funny like why was that so funny like you know you might start to do some things just because you're being triggered from the past let me give it another example maybe you're in a group you have a group leader it could be a church group it could be a whatever group group at work whatever and someone has been placed as your group leader now of course as the group leader the group leader calls the shots you're supposed to do whatever the group leader says but when the group leader is giving you instructions or maybe a group leader asks you to do some stuff you're like nobody's gonna tell me what to do nobody's telling me what to do i'm a grown girl i'm going to do what i want to do nobody's gonna tell me what to do have you ever considered that the reason why you might be offended by the group leader giving you instructions is maybe because you're the last one and um, maybe people have always told you what to do your elder brothers your other sisters they've always been sending you on errands while you're younger so there's a chord that this group leader is striking when they ask you to do stuff okay so even though now you're an adult you still have some of those triggers they might have actually done something that maybe is a bit disrespectful or rude but the reason why it's really hitting you hard is because of the triggers that you have so this is something that i think that a lot of us should reflect about a lot of us have triggers a lot of people have dealt with stuff in the past and you probably haven't really if you've forgotten them but they are day-to-day -day things that you come across that could you know bring it all up again so there's something that you definitely want to think about when you're in a space where you're offended uh is this person really offending me or am i being triggered by something am i am i the problem okay those are the three things that i think you definitely want to consider when you're in a station where you are wondering or you're tired of being the bigger person and yeah uh thank you for watching this video till the end i hope you had fun watching this and if you're yet subscribed please do so and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>